Just hours to go for the largest election in history to begin. We're talking about a mammoth exercise, almost a billion voters, more than 2,600 parties and almost 1 million polling stations. It doesn't matter who you support. Tomorrow is about celebrating democracy in India, about going out and casting your vote. Of course, this is just the first phase of polling. There are seven phases in total. This one has 102 seats in 21 states. But amid all the excitement, there is also apprehension mostly about EVMs, electronic voting machines. This is what they look like. All candidates are listed with their name and party symbol. Every candidate has a button alongside their name. To vote, you must press it. That's how the machine works. But some NGOs and activists are not happy. They have filed a petition at the Supreme Court, India's top court. It broadly seeks two things. One, to go back to using ballot papers, and two, to verify votes with a paper trail. Thankfully, the courts have rejected the first demand, but the second one is still being heard. During the trial, the petitioners raised a worrying report. An EVM trial was held in Kerala. The machine apparently registered extra votes for the BJP, so the court asked the Election Commission for an explanation. The poll body said it was fake news. But the paper trail question remains. Petitioners say there should be 100% cross-verification of the vote and the paper trail. How do you do that? With VV Pats. It stands for Voter Verified Paper Audit Trail, VVPAT, VV Pat. Every polling booth has VV Pat machines. It is attached to the EVMs. When you vote, the VV Pat machine prints a slip. It has the candidate serial number, their name, and their party symbol. You can see this slip briefly on the machine, but you can't take it home. The idea is to improve transparency, to show the voter where the vote went. And what does the Election Commission do with these slips? Some of them are cross-checked. Poll officers will randomly select five polling stations in every assembly constituency. In those stations, the votes and VV paths will be matched, just to ensure that it's all fine. But the petitioners say that's not enough. There must be 100% verification, meaning every vote must be matched with the VV Pat. And what does the EC have to say? They say it's unnecessary. More than 40 million, 40, 40 million VV Pats have been cross-checked in all elections. There have been zero instances of mismatch. So the EC is asking, what's the point? Plus, it could delay the election results. It takes one hour to match VV Pats with one EVM. And India has tens of thousands of EVMs. So the result could be delayed by five or six days. Also, the Election Commission swears by these EVMs. They say it's impossible to tamper with, N with it at any stage. Either way, the court has heard all the arguments. It has also reserved its judgment. So now we have to wait. But chances are the court will not order radical changes. That's what history suggests. Most Indian courts have defended the electronic voting machines, especially because the judges know what used to happen. Listen to what one of the Supreme Court judges said. Fortunately, we are now in our 60s. We have seen what used to happen earlier. Have you forgotten that? If you have forgotten that, I'm sorry. What is the judge talking about? The era of poll rigging. Ballots would be stuffed with fake votes. Entire polling stations would be captured and real ballots would disappear. The EVMs did fix those problems. They have made our election process fast and reliable. Is there room for improvement? Of course there is, there always is. But is election eve the right time for that? I guess the courts will decide.